Afghanistan's recent history is full violence, which has left a devastating impact on the country. Since 2001, the people of Afghanistan, with the support of international community, have started rebuilding the country. Despite the ongoing security challenges, a lot of progress has been made in the fields of health, education, women's rights, and economic development. The Netherlands and Afghanistan have been uh, great partners in many areas uh, already since 2001 um, in the field of security, development, uh, political cooperation and so on and so forth. One of the factors contributing to Afghanistan's development is the return of the Afghan diaspora. Some have come back to stay for good, others for shorter periods of time, to contribute their share to rebuilding their home country. There is quite a large uh, Afghan-Dutch community living in the Netherlands. There's uh, about 47,000 um, people in the Netherlands with Afghan, uh, an Afghan background. And these people have a lot of skills and, and knowledge and have had a really good education usually in the Netherlands or before they arrived in the Netherlands. Uh, one of the projects we are managing here uh, from IOM the Netherlands is called Connecting Diaspora for Development. So what we try to do is we, we work with uh, migrants living in the Netherlands and we try to connect them to their country of origin. Uh, at the moment we have like four target countries, uh, one of them being uh, Afghanistan and the others are Sierra Leone, uh, Somalia and Ethiopia. The project is uh, demand-driven, so we ask uh, our partner institutions to get for us the, uh, the exact needs so they can make uh, like a vacancy and then uh, in the Netherlands we identify the suitable candidates. In Afghanistan we are working in, in, the, in the area of healthcare, also in the area of rural development, which also, which also includes water management. I am the My name is Nilva Rahim. I studied at Leiden University Medical Center. At the moment, I'm working at the emergency department and hoping to get my specialization in, in the near future. So, for this session, we have two diasporas ready to go to Kabul. Dr. Neil Afar and Engineer Tabish. Their journey begins. Despite other different development programs in Afghanistan, water resources management and improvement in the health sector have been among the major goals of the international community. For this reason, the CD4D program, upon the demand and need for experts in these sectors, assigned Dr. Neil Afar and Engineer Tabish to share their knowledge and experience with the relevant institutions. So far this year we have received 13 assignments of Dutch Afghans from the Netherlands who have arrived in Kabul and been working in various institutions 
working on those two specific areas. I de facto mamá dom hasta el programa CD4D IOM. Mamá dom bajo todo el training va a chafojar el salón mamá Daud Khan. Un día el grupo de doctores hay baba, de nursera, de aquí van cinco personas. Un día el training de dom va a bajar como acá ya avalía. Va a pasar luego el grupo de pantalones pactia. Mahasilin pactia, el pactia va a ir a mamá. El grupo de bis nafar están. Va a bajar فیزیولوژیکو و بخش جراحی و بخش های کمک های اولیه و ای که چه قسم یک مریض که آجل می باشه چه قسم مریض باید اینا کمک بکنن و بعد از اینا ترینینگ دیدن یک گروه از اینا همچنان ترینر خواهند شد و ادامه میتونم این ترینینگ ها رو به خود فاکلتی خود ادامه میتونم و پالوی از او ما تمام سامانالات طبیعی که یک لابراتوار نیاز داره که زیادترشان از طریق دونیشنز بوده از خود محسسات مختلف از هالند از شفاخانه ها از فاکلته ها و همچنان یک مقدارش خریداری شده که سپانسر شده از طریق محسسات مختلف و همچنان از طریق آی او ام ما فعلا در ریاست انسجام سخ سوهوی که مربوط به وزارت احیاء و انکشاف دیات است در شعبه آبیاری و منابع آب کار میکنم و وظیفه ما فعلا کار در روی پولیسی ها و استراتیجی هایی است که نه تنها به این وزارت مربوط میشه بلکه در کل بر وزارت تای سکتوتوری که از آب استفاده میکنند وارد بر میگرد و در پولوی از کنترول سیل آبا و فرسایش خاکه هست در یه هم زمین ما میشه One of the things that needs to be changed in the, in the medical curriculum in Afghanistan is uh, to have practical experiences as well before graduating, besides all the theoretical knowledge that students gain during their studies. This is also the base for this project that I'm, that I'm coming for every, every year to Afghanistan. Because students need to work on, on mannequins, work, work on models before working on people, before working on humans, in order to reduce the risk of making mistakes. فکر کوم د دې لپاره چې مو ګالته پکتیا کې دومره عملي سهولتونه نه لرو او ټول درسونه هم صرف د تیوري په حیث دي د امکاناتو نشتون په خاطر دوی دې په خاطر فکر کوم نسبت په نور بل هر ځینه موږ ته ډیر مؤثر وو کوم شیان چې موږ دلته زکړو لمړه نه مرستي وي مثلا کاردیک ارست برسي او سی پی ار اپلای کول او هم چنان د زخم ګندلیا هم چنان د وینی اخیستل فشار لیدل بی پی چیک بلاد پرشه در تو شاید چی مغز ذکری دی اکنون زمگ امسون فیان مرکزی شد دلت نداره غلی ها گوته بیت داشتن ده ترین ترینینگ پایست دور تا دایر کوسه کم شاید چی ذکری او تا هم ور انتقال کن او بیا هم بخوالوار ایوادی را خاص من نه که او سیدار قام ترینینگ نم مکت دایر وی در دیر مکت مفید واقع کیگی او بیا هم من نه ریویوی پلیسی ملی سیلابو یکی از کار کارو و استراتژی ملی سیکتور آب بخش دیگیش بود و کار روی قانونی آب موضوع سیکتور آب پروژه تحکیم سوال داریا یامو که از بدخشان شروع می شد تا به قرقین و خمو به ولایت جوزون ادامه پیدا می کرد که این پروژه و کارهایی که ما کت کردیم باعث ازی شد تا از شستشوی زمین های زراعتی، قریه جوات، مکاته و غیره که در سواحل قرار داشتن از او جلو گیری شد. ما فکر میکنم یک کار معاصر بر افان است. کم پروژه چی اوست در نیدرلین دخواه پلیکیجی در ایوم لطریق زموش وزارت کلی برغونی و پرختی وزارت در غوپ یو مستفیدون که شاملیجی دا پروژه دیر زیاد مفید ده خصوصا د اوبو په سکتور کې په همدې وزارت کې یو تعداد افغان متخصصین چې په هغه هیواد کې ژوند کوي او هغه تحصیل کړی وي په هغه مملکت کې هغه خپل تجارب د افغانستان دولت سره شریکوي 
بنسټیز کارونه مخ ته وړي او هغوی به د اوبو او همدارنګه په نورو سکتورو کې سام واخلي Projects such as CD40 come at a pivotal time for the, uh, for the country of Afghanistan, given that the president himself has given a strong impetus and urge to tap into the, the Afghan diaspora all over the world. And this has become one of the priority means that the government wishes to, uh, to use for, for development. CD4D is a continuation of the successful TRQN temporary, temporary Return of Qualified Nationals program, which has been supported by the government of the Netherlands as far back as 2006. So we've had a continuous relationship and support from the Netherlands. And uh, the CD4D is the new incarnation of TRQN, which started in 2016 and is going to end in early 2019. So um, they, they can uh, return to Afghanistan for a short period of time, just for a couple of months, um, to teach uh, uh, their peers here, or to teach students, or to work together with ministries, to work together with universities, and um, help Afghanistan develop further and build capacity here on the ground. Me as a person, as a diaspora, coming to, the, to Afghanistan in, to teach what I've been taught in, in the Netherlands um, in order to, to support the development here in Afghanistan. I was in the Netherlands and 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 I was دولی که از از طریق از این پرپور برنامه تاوری اومدم دینجا که بر مجرد رسید سیدان روسان سان وظیفه ما مشخص بود محلی وظیفه ما مشخص بود و این که در مسئله که خود کار کار میکنم از این لذت نیم From my generation there's a lot of youngsters who have become doctors, engineers, um, lawyers whatever, every sector, technicians for, for every sector there's something needed someone needed to, to be able to come here. Um, don't overestimate every, every risk and every, every uh, danger that there is at the moment in Afghanistan. Here there are also people living here every, every day their daily lives. You are also the same as they are here. Uh, you're the same human being with the same rights. So please don't hesitate and come and participate in this program. This is an opportunity for everyone who has, give, who has been given the opportunity there to, to bring back their knowledge.